but uh but for each project i will i will say you know i the different genres and things i like to pull from my sort of idea for why i approach those specific things is because they express some aspect of the setting or tone to me right so for transistor for example you know there's uh, the i have a, a palette that's sort of like kind of classical like european kind of classically feeling instruments but then because the setting is sort of like a it's almost like a sci-fi venice or something you know and it's like a it's sort of like one of the one of the ways i thought about it when we were working on that and it's got like this art nouveau sort of aesthetic and and so i wanted to pull pull from from that palette wise but then it's got like this sort of jazzy you know sort of jazzy feeling so there's a little bit of like a kind of a jazz hint but then there's also the synthetic electronic component so i wanted there to be uh i wanted there to be like a like a strong electronic element and then there's this sort of desolate feeling that uh is like a techno technologically desolate feeling which i associate with like kind of like a post rock there's like a lot of post rock stuff that gives me that kind of vibe um, and so that's that's how I kind of arrived at the different places I wanted to pull from for for transistor is trying to figure out what is a style or aesthetic that helps me express the tone of the game or the tone of the place, and then does it something that also juxtaposes in an interesting way with the other things that I've pulled so far, you know. Um, and and it's usually some combination of of those decisions that that end up being being like the pin in the map that I, I I give myself, and once I have that picked out, I can sort of stretch out a little bit in different directions. But it's just really helpful for me to have a general direction to face when I when I start working on a project. 